YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Microsoft touches under $400 per share in the aftermarkets. Now, thank you guys for tuning in. Please, guys, make sure you hit the like button. That way we can fight against the algorithm. Now, a moment ago, Microsoft uh, was down as much as uh, to $390 per share, which obviously is going to be a nice pickup for those of you that want to get Microsoft uh, at a discount. Now, what's going on with Microsoft? They reported earnings and their cloud uh, services revenue came in lower than expected. Uh, investors weren't happy with that, and so the stock actually took a dive. So that was a great opportunity uh, to buy some shares. Uh, I actually bought some uh, Direction Daily Microsoft, which is ticker symbol MSFU. Uh, and what that does is it doubles your profit of the movement for Microsoft. So if Microsoft goes up 10%, you're going to get a 20% return, so forth and so on. Now, as far as the earnings numbers, let's take a quick look. Now, they beat on earnings per share. So if we look at earnings per share, they came in at... Let's see, two dollars and ninety-five cent versus the two dollars and ninety-four cent that was expected. So that was about a half a percent surprise. Now, when we look at the revenue, they beat on revenue as well, coming in at sixty-four point seven three billion versus the sixty-four point three eight billion that was expected. So that's good as well, but. As we said before, we want to know how you actually making money. We understand that, you know, there's this inflation thing that's going on. So everybody's raising the prices on their services, their products and everything else that uh, a busy uh, business can charge for. Right. So at the end of the day, we want to see if each sector of these companies are profitable or not. And that's what we've come down to. Now, the last couple of earnings, investors wanted to know what the forward guidance was. Now, they still want to know that, but we've gotten to the point now where we don't want to hear what the forecast is. We want to see proof that you're actually making money. And so that's what's going on with Microsoft. Now, going forward, I believe Microsoft will find a way to uh, capitalize on the cloud services I mean most of the time they do pretty good had a little bit of a pullback I don't think it's much of a big deal uh, so I'm of the thinking that this market is at the point where it's just ready to sell off any reason there is to sell off the market is going to sell off that's just where we are now as I mentioned in the Nvidia video if you guys haven't listened to that one, check that one out. But the Federal Reserve makes a decision on interest rates tomorrow. Uh, Jerome Powell will be speaking. And uh, basically my thinking is if he does not give us some more insight on what he plans to do with interest rates, I think we're going to pull back even more. Now, historically, I, I know that after the interest rate reduction, the market usually pulls back. But for this scenario, this initial scenario, I think it's going to be the opposite. So if he doesn't give us insight uh, because the markets are eager to hear what he has to say about the Fed's plans on these interest rates and knowing that we have an 80 percent chance that there will be a reduction before this year is out. We want to know when that's going to happen, right? We want to know if that's going to be September. Is it going to be August? Is it going to be November? Is it going to be before the presidential election? We all we want to know. And that brings me to another point. When we think about uh, the markets pulling back after that first rate cut, I think that's going to happen in 2025 after the presidential election. So for microsoft tomorrow if the markets react positively 
here's what I'm, I'm looking at from a technical perspective. Okay, so I'm gonna get my horizontal line here. I think if the market reacts positively, guess what? We get to retest this area from yesterday, from today, which was $421. If the market reacts negatively, we're gonna come probably test $390 per share, okay? Now I know a lot of you guys aren't gonna like that, but that's the way I'm looking at it right now. And these are initial entry points to what could potentially happen. Now, if we open tomorrow with Microsoft at or above 421, then that's gonna push our levels up a little bit. But to the downside, we definitely would test 390. So let me come out to the five day. So if we start here, tomorrow at 420 uh but the markets react positively then we'd be looking at 430 for microsoft on tomorrow so it all depends on what's going to happen in the after hours leading up to the pre-market and then leading up to uh the, the fomc information that we'll receive tomorrow okay now overall guys let me know what you guys think of uh, Microsoft and what's going on with it. Uh, how do you think about these levels? Was $390 a nice uh, steal for your profit? Do you look at that as being on sale or do you want to see it at $350? Do you want to see it at $325, $300 before you would go all in? Let me know your plans. Let me know if you are long term, if you're short term, if you swing trade this thing and you're kind of midway let me know guys i appreciate you guys make sure you like share and subscribe and we're out guys peace